G'day guys. I thought I'd quickly show you the extraction, fume extraction arm I used in the mask video just before I packed it up. Give you a quick little tour of it. There's not that much to it, but I thought, you know what? Might as well film it, chuck it on the channel before it uh, gets put to bed for a bit. So in the end, it wasn't that vital to making the masks. It was more, especially using the iron, doesn't produce that many fumes compared to this guy here. The, uh, the wire, the hot wire made a bit more fumes, so it was really good for that. Getting it nice and close in there, suck the stink out. So what we've got, obviously the first part of it, is bee carton. So you're gonna need a drink of carton. Uh, and basically just cut a hole in there. That's just all taped in there. I probably could use something that's wider. That would be better to make sure no fumes get around it. Uh, I'm not sure what this stuff is worth. Got that at Bunnings. Then to suspend it, I've just used packaging foam. Uh, you know, the stuff that's normally wrapped around things you buy when you buy them. Great description, excellent. Builder's line, just tied it off the light. That's just to stop the string cutting into it. Then you can kind of move it where you want. I've got a second one here. And then that goes to uh, what worked out to also be a hovercraft. So computer fan is stuck on there, just straight 12 volts, get any old power adapter. So that's another bit of a beer carton, obviously. In the end, I switched which fan I had in here. I had a bigger, I think it was a 12 centimeter computer fan, but it just didn't have as much power as like a CPU fan, which is smaller. And that thing cranks for what it is, you know, it's just a computer fan in a beer carton, but it's good. It's the old Dickies power adapter. This one's adjustable voltage, unregulated. So at 12 volts, it cranks and it's a bit noisier but with this, it's good. You can actually turn it down. So I'll just fire that up. So we switch that on. Then just a bit of wire running to that. And then the fan mounted on the box in there. And the window is cracked that far open. Then just a bit of cardboard to stop the air uh, from coming back in. So drawing back around in any way tape that up the best you can that's started to fall apart now so that's sealed up the rest of the air gap try and keep a tight seal on the window I'll show you the outside and that's it that's the outside that's all there is to it adapted the size can actually feel the heat coming out of the shed through it that's pretty good does the job but I'm gonna I'm gonna store it might crack it out again sometime I actually came with a free movie ticket. That's a win. That was before social distancing came in. Still gonna claim that though. All right, so if I pull it out of the window, pull that down. There. All right, hang on. That's it. Fan and that could be taped up a lot better. So this fan is off the CPU. Seems to have a better aerodynamic design. Bit of a gap has opened up around the edge there, so you don't want that. But um, yeah, that cranks pretty good. 12 volts straight out of the power adapter. And you just pick up these two wires here, red and the black. Colors may vary, no, I don't think they do. But if you're not sure, even if you touch this on any of these, it doesn't actually affect it. I think these are just to measure the speed of the fan. Yeah, I've forgotten hooked up the wrong one at first. Didn't matter. And then we'll do one more hovercraft mode just before I put it away. There we go, just doing its hover thing. Just cruising around. Just having a look around the shed. Where are you gonna go now? Where are you gonna go, boy? Just having a look. Might go, go over there. No. Nope. Found some moment of stability. Screw that. Uh-oh. It's found the edge. It's gonna cause issues. No. Nope. He's off again. All right. Well, I'm meant to be making a new video for my main channel, and this is distracting you. <laughs> but here's one of the most important aspects I'll just share with you before, before you go. This is really important, but you can actually fit your head inside this size tube. And if you turn it on, it cools your skull down. All right, catch you next time. Ah, it's 
breezy, breezy. <laughs>